go. Review of the 1996 Road Trek 210. A super rare floor plan finished by Road Trek in the mid 90s. Fully restored and modified to current. This is one of one super unique camper van built on the Chevy G30 platform. Small block V8, runs like a champ. As you'll see, super unique layout. On the outside, some mods you'll see right off the bat are LED headlights, brand new signals, lower wind guard with fog lights that are LED, original bumper. Of course, it's all new paint. We got American racing wheels. few tricks up the sleeve of this camper is it's got tremendous amount of storage so as you can see here a light underneath you can fit your golf bag there we've got outdoor shower wash your feet off wash your dog off up to 50 amp service with the converter Massive storage under here. It locks. This is your access door to your fridge. Access panel for the hot water heater. This originally was the generator bay, which has been converted into a battery bank with ventilation. We got three Battleborn batteries producing 300 amp hours, which is sufficient to do a lot of unique things. Original fiberglass skids, fiberglass boxes, rust proof. Original bumper, this is just a little add on step. And let's go see the roof. Custom one of a kind roof rack. Walk on, walk on roof rack. We got a 175 watt roof panel, sufficient to top off the battery banks. Also roof rack is large enough for a rooftop tent, this whole area, or the expansion of solar, very large. Rear vents are for the internal AC, which you'll see, very stealth. The exhaust for the suburban gas heater, air heater for winter. We have another bay here. Again, massive storage. This originally was built with RVIA standards. So it does have everything. The two-tone paint job was recreated, removing the decals with extra special touches like this. American racing wheels really make this thing awesome. These are all original. Very unique system to connect the roof rack very securely without touching the fiberglass hole. It is not touching the hole at any point, which makes this fully removable.
As we head inside, you'll see fully reupholstered and custom doors with incredible stitching. Little baskets, original windows, door locks. Which will include the Viper alarm. Just like the 90s, it beeps. Door locks are keyless. Keyless entry. All new carpet and floor mats. Retro to the 90s. Seats fully reupholstered, including the armrests. dash is all original with the exception of the accents and the dash mat of course we got a stereo with remote remote can be used from the rear Kenwood Bluetooth stereo and we did replace all the speakers and add some speakers backup camera really nice big sun visors and the storage is endless. Up here we've got storage and much more to come. Are heavy. They were insulated with sound deadening and you can hear them thud. All doors were insulated. You got dual access here to get in. And very unique floor plan. Four captain's chairs and benches in the back. Seating for pretty much eight people. You got a little storage bay here for your shoes and an outlet. You could also store your shoes right here. Lux vinyl. custom top here to make your desk. This is rhino lined, pretty much impenetrable. Three point safety harnesses, blackout curtains drop down. Ambient lighting as you might be able to see, shines from above here. These trays accommodate lots of good little goodies. Kenwood speakers all around. More blackouts. Lighting all around, swapped out to LED. Very little draw. We've got a fire extinguisher and then your control panel. Original control panel. You got your battery disconnect, your water pump, and then your tank check. Exterior light. Max air fan was swapped out. A little temperature gauge for inside. And your AC control. Inverter is currently on. So as you can see, the microwave is ready to go. Cook up your popcorn, no problem. Before we leave the front, storage is everywhere, as I said. Underneath the seats. Full storage, both sides. Cases of water I've put in here before. This is the original twill from the mid 90s. It was in good shape, so we kept it. Got a nice over the desk light. As we head to the back, you got your three-way fridge, gas, 
electric 12 volt and electric 120 volt. Dometic, this is like new. Freezer up top, very spacious fridge. Here we've got our sink with hot and cold water. Drains to the gray tank. You get a nice window for ambient lighting here and another blackout shade. A couple of nice drawers here. This has become the junk drawer. Utensil drawer. Here we've got box for whatever else spices up top we've got more storage unbelievable amount of storage in this van we're not done yet with the galley original fan and light works wedgwood propane Burners were replaced or swapped out, added a magnetic rack. Down below, more room for your cookware. We got pots and pans, room for all kinds of things. Down below, 12 volt pump, hot water heater. This is where it gets really unique. You got a nice mirror there and a towel rack. Where this gets really neat is this whole front half closes off. This is stealth mode. No need to put up any shades in the front. Simply just close this and you are now blocked off. You got your toilet. Shower curtain comes out, spins around, I'll show that. Originally this had a toilet on a black tank, which is optional. Right now, it's a cassette toilet with electric flush. Easier to swap out than dumping a black tank, but the black tank is easily put in if you so desire. As you flip this side open, you now have a fully enclosed bathroom. Wardrobe shelves all the way down. Space for whatever else here. Just the storage goes on and on. Max air fan is right here to exhaust the shower area. These just fold in. And then lock into these little brackets below. You might think, well, what is going on down here? How can I shower in carpet? Well, originally and still, this is a fiberglass pan, which has then been modified to have slats in it. So you simply pull the carpet back and water will drain into the gray tank, which is right plumbed at the bottom of the fiberglass. About six feet from the floor to the ceiling, maybe five foot ten on the slats. And in the rear you have two full benches, which becomes nearly a king bed. We'll show that in a minute. You've got seating for probably four on a long road trip. Total eight in the van. More storage here. And here. This has been used as the pantry. We got an induction cooktop, which will run off the battery bank and inverter. More storage up here. This goes all the way back. More storage here, all the way back. Back table 
is on a Laguna mount with additional post here for stability if you desire it. But you can remove that and the Laguna table will swing whichever way you want. It'll also come off for bed mode. This is the heater, air heater, forced air heater. Over here you have the access panel for the fuses. Exhaust vent for the battery bank. We have 120 volt here. 12 volt here. We have USB charging down here. And over here, USB charging. We've got 120 volt here and up here and outside. As you saw, there's four 120 volt outlets. We've got more USB charging up here and here. More storage here in the back. Underneath you have a very spacious drop floor. It goes all the way over here and here. It's a plastic tray, will never rest, rust. Plastic tray. We carpeted it to match. Where some of your boards go for your bed setup, which we'll do now. Once this bed is set up, you can see that it is very spacious. The benefit of the bedroom area is you can close this door and the AC makes that an ice box. Safety devices, carbon monoxide, fire, and over here is your thermostat for the heater. Additional flip down cup holders. The bed is nearly a king size, measuring 72 by 75 inches. More storage here. And a pass through tunnel there. Shades come down to fully black out the back area. Blackout shades with the door closed makes this back area super stealth. Stealth mode in the back. All window shades are up. These OG CR Lawrence windows vent to the outside. All weather, rain will not come in. We got nice screens for mosquitoes and bugs. One is on each side in the back. One of the party tricks of this van is when the inverter is on, the 2000 watt inverter, not only can you run the microwave, but then you can come back here and you can start the AC. And this pulls roughly 50 amps. And then when you turn on the car, the alternator will charge the battery bank and offset the usage. So you can run this while you're driving as well as run the AC while you're parked. 
for several hours. Inside you've got the shower curtain that comes out. And you've got hot and cold water. And as you can see, it drains right into the floor. The carpet here in the inset is purely for comfort. It can be removed at any time. It has a nice pad and then the raised floor underneath. This desk is also removable and a small child can make a bed right here. Thank you.